Ruins of the nunnery today Notre Dame de Soissons was a nunnery dedicated to the Virgin Mary, Our Lady, in Soissons. The convent was founded by Ebroin, the mayor of the palace under the Merovingian kings, who appoint Etheria, a nun from Jaur, as its first abbess. Jaur had been founded by Adu, a disciple of the Irish missionary Columban, and Notre Dame therefore stood in the Columbanian tradition of monasticism. In the 660s the nunnery received a monastic rule from the bishop of Soissons, Drausius. It was a mixed regula, a mixed rule, combining elements of the Benedictine rule and the rule of Columban. During the 660s, the nuns also adopted the practice of the Laus Perennes, perennial praise, whereby the psalms were sung constantly, day and night, by alternating groups of singers. Charlemagne's daughter Rotrud, died 810, became a nun there, and his sister Gisela became abbess. According to the record of monasteries made around that time, the Monasterium Sancti Maria Susiones owed the state Dona et Militia, a monetary gift and military contribution, in the case of a nunnery, paid soldiers. In 858, an inventory, descriptio, of the monastery's possessions was made before the king's leading men, optimates, and signed by fifteen bishops and abbots. Such inventories were made and confirmed by the king or other leading men to serve as proof and confirmation of possession. He dedicated his treatises de Assumption Sancti Mariae Virginis to the abbess Theodreta, abbess 810, died 846, a cousin of Charlemagne, and her daughter, Irma. After Irma succeeded her mother as abbess, Radbertus wrote the Expositio in Samum XLIV for the nuns of Soissons. 